Hi, I'm Mike Stavroff, 3M Commercial Graphics Technical Service. Today we're in the 3M Application Center. This video will demonstrate special techniques required for the application of 3M vinyl films to the complex contours of vehicles. Whether you're applying graphics to cars, vans, buses, or other compound services, these techniques will ensure a good looking application for the warranted period of the graphics. We'll start with proper film selection, surface preparation, and vehicle inspection. We'll then demonstrate unique film application techniques required for complex contours. Finally, we'll review removal of the graphic. The characteristics of the film and the contours of the vehicle will determine how well the graphic performs. Vinyl film has a memory for its original shape. Stretching the film can result in some shrinkage as it attempts to return to its original dimensions. As it shrinks, you can expect some lifting of the graphic in stretched areas. Following 3M recommendations will minimize lifting. Be sure to read the product bulletin for each film you are considering for its suitability to contours and complex curved surfaces. In general, while 4 mil films can be used on the flat areas of vehicles, only 2 mil films are suitable for application to complex contoured surfaces. Specifically, 3M recommends 2 mil cast vinyl films for vehicle wrap applications if minimal lifting is required. For easier bubble-free application, we recommend 3M brand 2 mil cast vinyl films with the comply performance feature. When the graphic is to remain on the vehicle for less than one year and clean easy removal is required, 3M recommends 2 mil cast vinyl films with changeable adhesives. 3M does not warrant the use of the following films for complex contour applications because of the likelihood of lifting when stretched. Calendared or extruded vinyl films, polyester films or over laminates, other non-vinyl films such as 3M e-film technology films. Finally, stretching of scotch light reflective films can cause damage to the reflective layer and therefore they are not warranted for the use on complex contours of vehicles. Various forms of dirt and grease are found on most vehicles and so various cleaners are required to remove the contamination prior to graphic application. See the 3M instruction bulletin 5.1 or 5.36 on the Scotch Print website. The vehicle should be washed with detergent and water and thoroughly rinsed and dried. Be sure to clean all the hidden areas where the graphic may be tucked or wrapped. Because panel seams and body molding can retain fluids, allow the vehicle to dry indoors overnight. A hot air gun can be useful in drying these areas more quickly. Next, wipe the vehicle with a 3M recommended solvent cleaner and clean dry lint-free toweling. This step is required even for freshly painted vehicles. See 3M instruction bulletin 5.1 for outgas testing of fresh paint. Again, ensure that the vehicle is dry before application. For application of 3M films to complex contours of vehicles, we recommend that the surface temperature of the vehicle be at least 60 degrees Fahrenheit. The ambient air temperature should be between 60 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. For full warranty coverage of 3M graphics, we request that a pre-installation inspection form be filled out for each vehicle. Forms for autos and buses are located in 3M's instruction bulletin 5.36, found on the Scotch Print Graphics website. The inspection is for the benefit of all parties involved, alerting the installer, graphic manufacturer, and vehicle owner of any issues with the vehicle surfaces, such as rust or loose paint, or other areas where the graphics may not perform as expected. Prior to application of the graphic, note the concave and the convex areas of the application surface. For concave areas where the film will be stretched, the use of 3M brand Tape Primer 94 will allow the film's adhesive to bond quickly. This can alleviate film lifting problems. A thin coat is all that is needed. The primer can be applied with a clean, lint-free towel or a small paintbrush. Any spillage can be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol. Primer can also be used on convex areas, but usually is not necessary. After the primer is dried thoroughly, you can start applying the graphics. 3M recommends the PA1 Gold Squeegee to provide firm application pressure around contours. For applying graphics without premask, you'll need a squeegee with a low friction edge. 3M offers a low friction sleeve to fit around the squeegee. The softer part of the 3M brand hook and loop product also works very well. A cotton glove will also be needed.
After making sure that all of the graphic panels fit the vehicle, you're now ready to start applying the graphic. In general, start at the rear of the vehicle so that the film overlaps will lay in the direction of airflow over the vehicle. Apply the film to the flattest areas of the vehicle first. Squeegee the graphic from the middle out, left and right, using overlapping squeegee strokes. The use of an application tape is not required if the graphic has a vinyl overlaminate. However, application tape must be removed prior to stretching the vinyl film over convex and concave areas. If possible, lay the graphic into concave channels without stretching. Because of the size of the graphic and the geometry of the concave area, the graphic will typically require some stretching during application. Apply the graphic right up to the concave area without stretching the vinyl. For straight channels, a covered PA1 squeegee can be used to apply the graphic. With the use of a heat gun, warm the film up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Gently press the hot film into the center of the channel. This ensures a consistent amount of stretch throughout the channel. Gently squeegee across the channel to make good adhesive contact. After the film has been applied, re-squeegee the channel area with firm pressure. For curved areas where a squeegee may not fit, the use of a cotton glove is helpful. Gently press the hot film into the center of the concave channel. If the film is at the appropriate temperature, it should stretch into the channel easily. If force is needed to stretch the film, the vinyl has likely cooled below 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and you'll need to reheat the graphic. After application to the channel, use a protected squeegee with firm pressure to ensure good adhesive contact. For convex areas, start with a graphic panel that is larger than the application surface. The edges of the film will be handled and stretched and should be trimmed from the vehicle. Apply the graphic to the flattest areas first. Gently pull the graphic against the least curved area using heat. The vinyl should reach at least 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Alternate the use of heat to stretch the film and removal of the film so that the graphic film takes the shape of the vehicle. Apply firm squeegee pressure where the film has followed the shape of the vehicle. Note that when using films with the 3M Comply performance feature, small wrinkles can be pushed out with little effort. Finally, trim the edges of the graphic and re-squeegee. Be sure to cut areas where the film spans a body seam. All of the film must be adhered or the vinyl will tear in harsh environments. After applying the graphic, you'll need your heat gun one more time. Direct hot air from the heat gun toward the areas where the film has been stretched. Slowly move the heat gun across these areas in order to heat the vinyl film to near 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Generally, with a high temperature setting, move the heat gun about one inch every two or three seconds. This technique relaxes the stress caused by stretching the vinyl film. Generally, it is not necessary to cut the film in the channels if the proper technique has been used. Cutting in the channel is only helpful when you expect the film to lift out of the channel such as when using a countered film or with high stretch applications. Before removing the graphic from the vehicle, be sure to read the appropriate 3M literature on removal techniques. If you don't know what film has been applied, try to remove a small piece. Some films require the use of heat to remove the film from the vehicle. For these products, heat the surface to soften the adhesive. Remove the film at low angles to prevent adhesive splitting. As the film and the vehicle surface cool, removal becomes more difficult and the surface must be reheated. If the film uses a 3M changeable adhesive, the product can generally be removed from vehicles without heat at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Upon removal of the film, some adhesive may be left on the prime surfaces. The adhesive and the 3M brand Tape Primer 94 can be cleaned off with 3M brand Citrus Base Cleaner or a similar product. Let's review the key techniques required for a successful application of 3M vinyl films to the complex contours of vehicles and other curved surfaces. Clean the vehicle with recommended cleaners and be sure that the vehicle is dry. Complete the vehicle inspection form found in Instruction Bulletin 5.36 before applying the graphic. Use 3M brand Tape Primer 94 in high stretch areas for better adhesion. 
Use enough heat so that the graphic can be stretched with very little force. Re-squeegee all the contours and film edges. Reheat the stretched areas. Whether you are applying film to cars, vans, buses, or similar curved surfaces, the special techniques shown in this video will help ensure a good looking application for the warranted period of the graphic. For more product or instructional literature from 3M, be sure to visit our website at www.scotchprint.com. You can also contact your 3M sales representative or call the 3M Commercial Graphics Division Technical Support Hotline.